Welcome to the Create ISO tutorial. A frequently asked question on the tech support line is how do I create an ISO file? This is used with a VinPower digital duplicator that has a hard drive in the Copy Connect feature. Users will utilize this functionality to generate an image of what a CD or DVD will look like and copy it to the hard drive of the duplicator thereby being able to make unlimited copies without first having to master a CD or DVD disc. VinPower provides image burn software to users that have a Copy Connect enabled duplicator. It's freeware and it's available to download from the internet. Let's go ahead and look at this software. First of all, Image Burn has a very user friendly image interface. The option we want to select is Create Image File from Files Folders. We'll click on this. The first thing we want to check is the options. Our ISO file must be generated as ISO 960 plus Juliet. By default, Image Burn creates it using UDF. We'll go ahead and change that. Now that our Image Burn software is set up correctly, we can go ahead and move our files over. We're going to get some files from a folder called Recipes and create a disk of our favorite recipes. So we'll double click on the View Files and we'll find this folder actually on the desktop of our computer and Recipes. We're going to go ahead and select all the recipes in this folder and select Open. Now they are in Image Burn. We're going to go ahead and build our ISO file. We don't have too many files in here, so it won't take very long to accomplish this task. We're also going to save this on the desktop, and we're going to call it My Recipes. There we go. That's going to be the name of the ISO file. We'll save that. We're going to be prompted to use this as volume name of the subsequent CDs or DVDs will be created and we're going to go ahead and say yes, that's fine. 15 files are added. It's an ISO 966 plus Juliet. And we'll say OK. And the process is complete. We're going to go ahead and close Image Burn. We'll notice that there's two new files on our desktop. One is called MyRecipes.ISO and MyRecipesMDS. These are the two files that will be moved to the hard drive of our VinPower Digital Copy Connect Enabled Duplicator. We saw how to do that in our previous vid video that talked about LightScribe. And that's the end of this presentation. Creating an ISO, the simple steps are open a program like Image Burn. Make sure it's saving it in the correct format, which is ISO 9660 plus Juliet, and actually generating the file right here, My Recipes. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.